Hi, this video is going to be over how we can use the equation editor in Canvas to write math equations. So first you have to be in a text box. Um, so there's my cursor. So I'm just going to come over here. And because my screen is narrow, um, I have to click on the three dots to get the, the rest of the menu. Some of you may not have those three dots and you'll see the square root of X listed right there. So once you click on that, it does bring up this um, pop-up window here. So let's do our first completely random equation or expression really. So this is the limit. Um, it's gonna be the limit as X approaches infinity. So I click on this subscript, I'm gonna type X. I'm gonna need to go fetch an arrow. So here in our arrow menu, you can see we have all kinds. We're gonna need this one. And then we're gonna to need to find infinity. And thankfully, infinity is right there. So I'm gonna click on the miscellaneous menu. Here's infinity. And then to get um, off of that subscript, I'm just gonna type the right arrow. And it's gonna bring me in the main line with my limit. Now my limit is a fraction. So if you wanna type a fraction, you go back to the basic menu, fraction. My numerator is x to the third. So to type an exponent, you can hit the superscript or subscript. So just press that and then you can type three, click to the right if you wanna get out of that superscript and then you can finish typing the rest of the expression. So pop down to the denominator. And then in here, I'm gonna show you um, how we can use a keyboard shortcut. Uh, you do not have to click on the superscript button. You can use the caret key and that's gonna be the, the key above six. Um, looks like a little up arrow. So my denominator is just x squared plus three. And then once I've finished my expression and I wanna insert it, I just type insert equation and it shows up on the screen. Now, if you want this x approaches infinity to be completely underneath the limit, that does require um, a little bit fancier skills using the advanced option in LaTeX. And we're just not gonna talk about that in this video because um, what we're doing is completely uh, adequate. So for our next problem, we wanna, um, another limit, we wanna find the limit as x approaches zero from the right of the natural log. So I'm gonna go into my subscript, x right arrow zero. Now when it's x approaches zero from the right, there does need to be a little plus sign in the exponent position on that zero. So I'm just gonna click that and put a, a plus in the exponent on that zero. And then I'm gonna arrow over to the right to get back on the main line for the limit. And then this is the limit of the natural log, open parentheses, and it's going to automatically put both an opening and a closing parentheses right there. And this is equal to negative infinity. Now, if you would like, you can put an additional, oh, that looks bad, an additional um, parentheses or a bracket around uh, the natural log expression if you think that it looks a little bit better um, that probably yeah i would probably put the brackets there okay so for our next example let's write a derivative so for our derivatives um, this is going to be f prime so sometimes i like to put a little space between my F and my prime. And the prime that I'm writing is the apostrophe key on the keyboard. If you write it right after each other, um, the F and the prime kind of tend to merge and it's really hard to see. Fraction, negative one over. Okay, so my derivative here is equal to negative one over the square root of five X plus two. So to type a square root, I just press square root 5x plus 2. I just arrow over to get out of the denominator and out of the root. And then I can just insert that. 
and it looks great. Um, you'll notice that the prime uh, isn't right up next to the F right there. And I may just be picky, but anyways. Okay, so next up, let's talk about how we can do a cubed root. So we have y equals the cubed root of x. And if we want it, we could also write this as uh, x to the one third power. So I'm gonna press the, the superscript and then make that exponent into a fraction. Else if I put a three and not a two. So cubed root of x or x to the one third power. Okay, so now let's talk about how to put in inequalities. So you can find inequalities here in the relationships tab. So if I want to say that the derivative evaluated at two is greater than, one too many of those, is greater than zero, all you need to do is come up here and fetch these inequalities. Um, they also have a, an is not equal to, greater than or equal to, less than or equal to, they're, they're all in the relationships tab. And the last thing we're gonna talk about in this video is integrals. And also e to the x, I haven't, I haven't talked about that yet. So if you want to find an integral, you can just press this button. So you want to find the integral of e to the x dx. If you want, you can put spaces in between if you think that it makes it look a little um, cleaner, but you don't have to. Okay, now um, one thing to note, if you do want to type in uh, a definite integral, so that's going to be an integral with a number, um, a lower bound and an upper bound, then you have to switch view to advanced and you have to do um, a little bit of coding in this latex. Um, and again, you know, we're not going to talk about that. That's a little bit beyond the scope of this video. So. There we go. That is our last random math equation. And um, I hope that this video was helpful.